Hello, and welcome to New England Escapades. Today we visited the Lizzie Borden House in Fall River, Massachusetts. Here's what we learned in our adventure. Located at 232nd Street, the house's history is far more sinister than its charming exterior suggests. We should mention two things up front. First off, filming video was not allowed inside the house, so we took a number of still photos instead. And two, the history of this house is a bit graphic, so this episode may not be appropriate for younger viewers. Purchased by prominent and wealthy Fall River resident Andrew Borden in 1872, the house was to be home for Borden, his two adult daughters Emma and Lizzie, and their stepmother Abby. Also living in the home was their servant, Bridget Sullivan. On the morning of August 4th, 1892, Andrew Borden returned home after his morning walk feeling unwell, as the family had eaten mutton that had spoiled for breakfast. Abby and Bridget had also eaten the mutton, and were both also under the weather. Andrew laid on the sofa in the sitting room for a nap, and at approximately 11 a.m., he was murdered by several blows to the head with an axe. Unbeknownst to Andrew when he returned, his wife Abby had met a similar but more brutal fate earlier in the morning in a guest bedroom. When questioned by the police, Lizzie gave answers that were often bizarre or contradictory. In fact, most of the officers who interviewed Borden reported that they disliked her attitude. Some said that she was too calm and poised. In the basement, police found two hatchets, two axes, and a hatchet head with a broken handle. The hatchet head was suspected of being the murder weapon, as the break in the handle appeared fresh, and the ash and dust on the head, unlike the other bladed tools, appeared to have been deliberately applied to make it look as if it had been in the basement for some time. However, none of these tools were removed from the house. In hindsight, the investigation could charitably be called botched. In July of 1893, Borden stood trial for the murders of her father and stepmother. Similar to the investigation of the crimes, the prosecution dropped the ball as well. Several key witnesses proved to be unconvincing or outright contradictory, while Borden's defense, boasting a star witness in Bridget Sullivan, managed to provide more than enough reasonable doubt. After 15 days, Lizzie Borden was acquitted of the murders. At the time, the media sensation surrounding the case was so strong that it has been likened to the O.J. Simpson trial. Due to the laws at the time, the Borden sisters found themselves in the only scenario in which they were entitled to receive the full inheritance from their father. They purchased a large home in a more affluent neighborhood in Fall River, but the court of public opinion had been decided. Lizzie would spend the rest of her life as an outcast in her own town. In 1905, the Borden sisters had an argument, and Emma moved out, never to see her sister again. Lizzie passed away on June 1st of 1927 from pneumonia, leaving a large portion of her fortune to the Animal Rescue League of Fall River. An animal lover, Lizzie had actually helped to start the organization and was one of its first donors. The donation was so well invested that some income is still derived from it. Today the house acts as a museum with guided tours as well as a bed and breakfast. And which room is the most requested by guests? The room where Abby's body was discovered, of course. With excellent tour guides and a fascinating story, the Lizzie Borden House is a must-see destination whenever you're in the Fall River area. It's located at 232nd Street and is about an hour's drive from Boston. Be sure to check it out this spooky season. If you enjoyed this episode and want to see more like it, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and keep on adventuring!